in this next section, we are going to be working on inputting data. And it's important for you to be efficient and confident when you are inputting data. So let's just say you are working with your students and you are trying to track mastery and you have a spreadsheet set up so that when students complete a standard, you can grade them accordingly by standard. Okay. And you're putting that information in manually. Now, um, we are going to, in this section for inputting, not only are we going to go into how to put the data in, but we're also going to go over formatting um, of cells, columns, and rows. And also sometimes, quite often, you have to insert information in between two rows or two columns. And so I want to show you how to do that. Okay. And then resizing columns and rows is always important too. All right, so the first thing we're gonna go over is how to jump around inside the different tabs or sheets in a workbook. So the official name for a spreadsheet is a workbook, and then each tab is called a worksheet, okay? But most people just call them tabs. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna jump over to my, um, my sample spreadsheet, and all I want you to do is click from click from um, worksheet to worksheet or tab to tab, just so that you get comfortable doing that. Okay, now I wanna go over the tab key. Most people, many people don't know this trick. Tab, the tab key is so useful in spreadsheets and when you're filling out forms online, most people grab their mouse and they click in the next cell so that they can put information in and that's not the most efficient way. So here we go. Let me show you when, um, what we're gonna do is, we are going to go to the new data. We're gonna click in cell A2, okay? Now, you're gonna type your name and you're gonna hit the tab key. Notice you didn't have to take your hands off the keyboard. And you can type in your last name and you're gonna hit the tab key. And then you can put your birthday in. I can hit tab to get into the next column. But let's just say I made a mistake. And notice it says that my birthday is 2021. If I hold down the shift key, I don't have to grab my mouse. If I hold down the shift key and I hit the tab key, it goes backward, okay? And then I can go up here and I can change the date, the year. Now, if I hit enter, notice it goes underneath this first cell that I worked in, okay? And that's usually the cell that you clicked in. So if I click in birthday, right? And then I hit tab and I hit enter, it goes to the cell underneath the, the cell that I clicked in, okay? Now, if you're online and you're filling out a form, if you hit tab, it automatically jumps to the next open um, field that you have to type in. So we've got tab and we've got shift tab, and then we've got the enter key. Now, when you hit enter the first time, it goes into edit mode. So you can start typing without being in edit mode, but if you are trying to move, you're gonna end up having to click twice each time, okay? So if you have to get all the way down here, then it's worth grabbing your mouse, okay? What I want you to do now is I want you on your copy of the spreadsheet to go to the new data and you are going to fill it in the same way that I just did. You're going to put your first name, hit tab, second name, hit tab, type in your birthday and then hit enter. Okay. So that's your challenge. And when you're finished, come on back here, pause the video.